Yeah? Oh, you both. Yeah. The first participant after the break here is going to be Edith Beeser. I chose to uh, do this in English, so I hope it's okay for all of you. Um, yeah, what we have seen the, now is uh, a little video of the first prototypes of uh, a new project I'm working on together with uh, Christian Schutz sitting somewhere there. Um, and just that you know that um, these are prototypes, so it's not the final product. So this is kind of the way from the dream to the reality and the final product. Um, yeah. Um, the project is called Farm. Um, what you have seen is. Uh, is it okay? Yeah. Right. What you have seen was kind of a little prototype of uh, the forest, the first one, and the second guy was uh, a little sheep uh, made out of felt, industrial felt, and some e textiles, electronic textiles, some which uh, I'm going to talk a little bit more later. So what is FARM? FARM is basically a practical attempt to create a new musical interface and also uh, something where I try or we try to integrate different parts of art, new uh, technology, music, play, playfulness and uh, also the senses that are connected to these. And also there's also a, a social interaction and integration profile in the project where we try to get children and youngsters with different backgrounds uh, come together and play with this tool, gadget or artistic piece uh, in one and uh, get to know each other, learn more about each other and learn not to be afraid of each other. Um, there's a lot of motivations and goals. Um, for instance, the first one is uh, bringing the eyes about touching. Um, we are kind of afraid of uh, using this sense which is very important to um, a series of things, learning process, getting uh, each other to know. Mostly here in uh, Scandinavia, we are not uh, good uh, with uh, these kind of things, social interaction, uh, because uh, we are very far from the ecuador, there's not much sun and so on. So, uh, yeah, we use ourselves a little bit differently. We come in. Uh, but there are also a lot of other motivations. For instance, play and playfulness is, uh, according to me, one of the most important elements in the project. And of course, new technology, how to use new technology um, together with the old ones. So here, for instance, we combine analog synthesizers, uh, little circuits, with these so-called e-textiles, um, and by that creating a totally new universe. Um, yeah, the project is also about sound, as we heard, um, noise, and there's the question um, coming up, is noise music, what kind of sounds are defined as music, how we use uh, our musical sense and so on. So we try to create uh, and educate about a new kind of musical approach. Um, and also, the overall theme, probably, you could say, experience design, how we design experiences of different kinds. Um, yeah, how to get something to be enjoyable, comfortable, functional, aesthetic, and so on and so on. Um, yeah, how to combine different materials. Here we combine non-conductive and conductive materials to get uh, together to be some soft circuits we're working with, and this is everything about uh, seal them woven into normal fabrics and uh, magnetic paint, uh, yeah, a lot of stuff. Yeah, here's the old type of uh, technology, sensor technology, and the e textile kind of. What, which one would you play with? Uh, we all know these ones, they're very nice, very functional, uh, but the new ones is a new touch, new feel and also a new look, and you can implement it, implement it to fabrics and uh, a lot of series of things. For instance, this little sheep, which is a prototype, also implemented with um, e-textiles inside of it. So by that we can use it as small pressure sensors and actually we can control sound by that. Um, yeah, a lot of dreams. Uh, one first step to the reality is establishing a laboratory 
and do experiments, do a lot of research, experiments, uh, get to know these materials and their potentials. Um, and then, the next step of course, creating the farm itself, which will be um, a mobile, modular type of, like a puzzle type of uh, farm landscape with all the animals and uh, the tractor and the uh, bonnego and all that. And uh, it will be a tool uh, for kids, for adults, for performance, and also an educational tool. Um, because we have plans about uh, doing some workshops um, where we get yeah, children, youngsters together to uh, actually create these soft circuits and play with them and uh, get to know uh, the potentials about both this technology and uh, the sound part. So, yeah, sound can be also this and that. Um, and of course, redesign is important. The story doesn't stop with the piece and the workshops, but we have a dream to continue and uh, make improvements. And finally, probably one day, somebody wants to buy it and <laughs> mass produce it. Huh? <laughs> so, farm is a lot of things uh, it's user experience design, e textiles, uh, aesthetics, uh, knowledge sharing, and so on and so on. And what I, as uh, somebody working with uh, experience design and art and technology, I really find important that uh, technology should never be alone in itself, but serve values of various kinds. And there's a lot of kinds of values, artistic, uh, educational, aesthetic, functional, social, and so on and so on. There will be a workshop at Platform 4, at the end of October. Um, there are still places, so Everybody is welcome to register, it's for free, two days, and it will be a lot of fun. And the team. Uh, everybody is very welcome to contact us if you're interested. Yeah.